I'm Dale Vince and I'm the founder of Ecotricity. Uh, we got started in 1995 and our mission as a company was to change the way electricity was made because it was the single biggest source of climate emissions. Um, and we introduced to the world for the first time a new idea of green electricity. And while we had ways to replace conventional electricity using the wind, the sun and the sea, uh, I believed for a long time that we simply had to wean ourselves off of gas, we had to give it up. And that was until 2010 when I discovered that it was possible to make gas that was good enough to be put into the gas grid, to make it using anaerobic digestion, which is basically the breaking down of organic material in the absence of oxygen. Shortly after 2010, looking around for the best way to make green gas, we came across the idea of using grass simply using grass to make gas to put into the grid and replace fossil fuels. It was a brilliant idea. We loved it, but we wondered, is it possible to do this on a big scale? We found there's enough uh, marginal land in Britain that's not being used for farming for food, where we can grow enough grass to make enough gas to power all of the 26 million homes in Britain. Since this discovery of this way to make green gas using grass, we've been working on planning permission for several projects. It's been quite difficult, it's taken us longer than we hoped, but this year we should start work on the first one of those to make our own gas from grass. We call them green gas mills, uh, and I'm very excited to get started on that. In the meantime, we've been buying green gas from other sources, but very carefully to avoid animal products and to avoid energy crops and that's been quite difficult. Lots of companies now sell green gas and it's quite competitive uh, to buy it from the people that make it. And we're taking a new step this year. It's an interim step. While we have this 4% that we're buying from other people and we're just getting ready to make our own, we're going to carbon neutralize the other 96% of our gas supplies to all of our customers at no extra cost. Carbon offsetting itself is not the answer. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's a very useful interim step and that's how we're using it to bridge the gap between where we are now and the building of enough green gas mills to provide the gas for all of our customers.